One of the terms that comes into play now, especially more than ever with the PRS type events that's going on, is danger space on target. All right, so essentially what that means is the projectile you're shooting, how much space on the target it's actually going to look at. Now, what I mean by that is when we stand on a range and we're looking at it through our scope, we're seeing the target at a full size up and down, left and right if it's facing directly towards us. The way the projectile is looking at it is from a trajectory standpoint. As you shoot, your projectile comes up into the sky and then falls back down on target. It's on an angle, right? So that angle will tell you what your danger space is on that target. For a slower round, slower, bigger round, like a 308 or something like that, then your danger space is gonna be much smaller because the trajectory is much higher and it's coming in. So the bullet is actually looking at it like this once you're out at distance. So essentially what that means is as you're looking at your target, you see a full face value of whatever that target is. And as you shoot a low efficiency round, then you're seeing a much higher trajectory and that's giving you only this much of your target face for your round to hit. Now, the faster and the more efficient your uh, projectiles are, then that opens that target face up even more because the trajectory is a lot flatter and is getting there a lot sooner. So you have this much target as opposed to this much target. And of course, this changes at every range and the further you go out, the more steeper the angle is gonna be because the trajectories are much higher. So what it boils down to, the faster that you can get an efficient cartridge on a flat trajectory down range, the better chance you're gonna have to hit that target.